atonement of our sins and those of the world. Of the sins of the whole world. Anyone who wants to say? For the sake of Jesus' sorrowful passion. Abba Father. Abba Father. And the whole world. The whole world. For the sake of Jesus' sorrowful passion. Abba, Abba, Abba Father. Father have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of Jesus' sorrowful passion. Abba Father. Abba, have mercy, mercy on us and the whole world. world. For the sake of Jesus' sorrowful passion. Abba, Abba Father. Abba, Abba Father have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of Jesus' sorrowful passion, Abba, Abba Father, Father, have mercy on us and on the whole world. world. And on the whole world. For the sake of Jesus' sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. And on the whole world. For the sake of Jesus' sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. And on the whole world. For the sake of Jesus' sorrowful passion. For the sake of Jesus' sorrowful passion, for the sake of Jesus' sorrowful passion, the whole world. The second mystery now. This is where we bring to our mind the nails and the right hand feet hand or palm of jesus and we see in romans chapter 8 verse 31 <laughs> romans chapter 8 verse 31 we we believe that sorry okay the word of god says what shall we then say to these things? If God is for us, who can be against? Yes, yeah. Romans 8, 30, 31. Now, this is exactly what God thinks about you and I. God is revealing. God. To us. If God is for us, who can be against? Us. us. That means God is saying, you are victorious through Jesus. But you must begin to see yourself as the word of God. That is exactly what Jesus told to Nicodemus, the chief rabbi of Israel in John chapter 3. Jesus said, Nicodemus, unless you are born of above, how can you see the kingdom of God? And then he said, few verses later unless you are born of water and spirit how can you enter the kingdom of god so entering and seeing unless you are born from above born again that doesn't mean we born we go and join the born again protestant sect no but unless you are born again born of above you cannot even see what is in the kingdom you forget about entering the kingdom you cannot even see so what is this born again that is to be spiritual and to fix our eyes on jesus, jesus. and to fix our eyes in the middle of the storm on jesus and to fix our eyes on things that are of above not of this world not of this world then sure you will drown you will sink so, tonight, our prayer is that we change ourselves humbly and allow Jesus to make us born of water and spirit, that is, born of the word of God and of the spirit of God. And we begin, begin to see as the Lord sees us. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and the soul and the liberty of your dearly beloved Son. Our Lord Jesus Christ, an atonement for our souls and those of the world. For the sake of Jesus, our whole passion. 
Abba Father, have mercy on us and be For the sake of Jesus, our whole passion. Abba Father, have mercy on us and be holy. For the sake of Jesus, our whole passion. Abba Father, have mercy on us and be holy. For the sake of Jesus, our whole passion. Abba Father, have mercy on us and the whole world. For the sake of Jesus, sorrowful passion. Abba Father, have mercy on us and the whole world. For the sake of Jesus, sorrowful passion. Abba Father, have mercy on us and the whole world. And on the whole world. For the sake of Jesus, sorrowful passion. For the sake of Jesus, sorrowful passion. Abba Father, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of Jesus, sorrowful passion. Abba Father, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of Jesus, sorrowful passion. Abba Father, have mercy on us and on the whole world. So the third salvation mystery is in the Passion of Christ. Jesus is now crowned with thorns. We see Revelation reveals the Lord as the Lord of Lords, the King of Kings. It's in the book of Revelation. You see, one wonderful, uh, our St. John, the beloved gospel um, apostle said, by the way, St. John, we have been praying for the intercession of St. John, the brother of James, the son of Zebedee. Because he was with Mother Mary on Calvary in Gethsemane in the upper room. And uh, he was the one who outran Peter on the day of the Lord, on resurrection day. On the resurrection day. So I want that loyalty to be like St. John, not to flee like other apostles. Even Peter ran. Peter denied. Not to be like other apostles in the face of adversity. So First John, uh, chapter 4, verse 17. First letter of John, chapter 4, verse 17. St. John says, Love of Jesus, of course, has been perfected among us through him. That we may have the boldness so if we, you and I, do not have the courage, the fortitude, 1 John 4, 17 says that we may have that boldness in the day of judgment because as he is, because as Jesus is, where is he now? He is on the right hand side of God. Who are we in this world right now? That means... John, John says, yes, we don't just have that boldness on the day of judgment when Jesus comes. But we have the boldness now in this life to, to face what? To face adversity, problems, to face troubles. Why? Why? Because from this revelation, St. John teaches us, we know where we stand with Christ. We know who we are in Jesus. So knowing who we are in Jesus allows us to walk intimately with Jesus and to walk humbly with Jesus in holiness and purity. Now, and to refuse to believe in everything that is a lie, to refuse to believe in what the liar, the enemy, John 10.10, 10, the enemy wants us to believe. The enemy wants us to believe you will fail. You are not good. Or you have this guilt. But St. Paul says, I have murdered a thousand children. I have murdered a thousand people. But still, God forgave me. Now the thing is, how many have we murdered? So never believe in any negative. John 1, 4, 17 says, we have the body of Christ. Doesn't matter how small we get, but 
insist on this truth of God, stand firm. Then the blessing the Lord gives, the divine blessings for everyone who is listening is for him. Praise God. Let us go into our third, uh, third? yes, eternal father. I offer you the body and blood, the soul and the divinity of the Lord Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, and the atonement for our sins and the sins of the whole world. For the sake of Jesus' sorrowful passion, our Father, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of Jesus' sorrowful passion, for the sake of Jesus' sorrowful passion, our Father, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of Jesus' sorrowful passion, our Father, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of Jesus' sorrowful passion, our Father, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of Jesus' sorrowful passion, for the sake of Jesus' sorrowful passion, for the sake of Jesus' sorrowful passion, for the sake of Jesus' sorrowful passion. For the sake of Jesus' sorrowful passion, for the sake of Jesus' sorrowful passion, we go into fourth mystery where Jesus carries our cross. The fourth fourth sorrow of Jesus, the fourth salvation mystery, is we bring to our mind the big nails, the cross of Jesus, yes. and, and blood. So there is an incredible promise in Psalm 27. Write this down or listen to this. Psalm chapter 27, verse 13 and 14. The prayer, the word of God says, I would have lost heart. I would have lost heart and gone into despair and believed something else unless I had believed that I would see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. And verse 14 says, wait, wait, wait on whom? Wait on the Lord. The Lord be of good courage and he shall strengthen you make you strong and your heart and wait I say on the Lord so this is Psalm 27 13 verse 14 so now we see what is the goodness of God we see God's goodness is all exactly of who he is as a person he is above everyone and everything that he has instituted he is as a person above everything and then what he has and what he gives us so jesus said philip in to philip in john 14 philip don't you know that father and i are one and he said to philip philip if you see me you have seen father and then Jesus, after he rose from the dead in Matthew 28, he said, everything that I have, all that I have, I'm giving to you. If it is false, then you can let me know. But this is exactly what Jesus said in Matthew 28. All that I have, I give now to you. Everything. You are now fully equipped. So that is the goodness of God. And again, we see it is a legal right we have because God said, I've paid a ransom, Colossians 1.13. 
I've paid you, I've purchased you so that you and I do not belong to ourselves. We don't have right over our own self. We belong to the Lord. So that is his contract. Eternal contract means covenant, which the Lord is binding on him. He doesn't break. And then we know this Psalm 27 says, we cannot do, we cannot live without his goodness. We cannot. And as a covenant children of God, he wants to give his glory to us in difficult times. In what times? Difficult times. The Lord doesn't want to lose our heart and lose our hope and become discouraged and live like orphans. And then if we do that, then we, can, we are vulnerable to the attack of enemy. Didn't the Lord tell us in Ephesians 6, 18, 16, 17, 18, if you do not carry the shield of faith, you will be burned by the fiery darts of the evil one. Yes. What is, what is shield? It is Jesus. What does it mean, shield of faith? It means to increase in faith in Jesus every day. Otherwise, we will be burned. If we are not increasing in faith, that means we are not carrying the shield. So let us trust Jesus because the spirit of God brings us to strength and through his promise, he fulfills everything in every situation of our lives to one who has faith. Amen. Let us ask the eternal father. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity for your beloved Son, the Lord Jesus Christ, an atonement for our sins and for the sins of the whole world. For the sake of Jesus' sorrowful passion, the Father, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of Jesus' sorrowful passion, Abba Father, Abba Father, have mercy on us. And on the whole For the sake of Jesus, our full passion. Abba Father, Abba. have mercy on us. And on the whole world. For the sake of Jesus, our full passion. Abba Father, Father, have mercy on us. And on the whole world. For the sake of Jesus, our full passion. Abba Father, have mercy on us. And on the whole world. For the sake of Jesus, sorrowful passion. Abba Father, have mercy on us and the whole world. For the sake of Jesus, sorrowful passion. Abba Father, have mercy on us and the whole world. For the sake of Jesus, sorrowful passion. Abba Father, have mercy on us and the whole world. For the sake of Jesus, sorrowful passion. Abba Father, Abba. have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of Jesus, sorrowful passion. Abba Father, Abba. have mercy on us and on the whole world. The fifth sorrowful mystery now, this is incredible because Jesus has died. St. Augustine says, God died for us. And he cannot refuse anything. You see, uh, in John 15, verse 7, write this down. The Lord says, if you abide in me, abiding means continuing to be with Jesus in his word. If you abide, then my words abide and my words abide in you. So both. Then, then the Lord says, okay, now come and ask whatever you desire. In my name. And it shall be? Done. Given to you. Amen. It shall be done. Because in Isaiah chapter 55, verse 11, the word of God says, My word is healing, deliverance. It does not return void. It accomplishes what I please. And not only does it accomplish, but it prospers in whatever I have sent it for. And in Jeremiah chapter 1, verse 12, 
This is amazing. It says, I'm actively watching over my word to perform. Also, our Joshua 2145, the successor of Moses, said, Not a single word failed of any good thing to bring the goodness of the Lord that the Lord had spoken to the house of God. And the word of God says, All goodness of the word came to pass. Now, that was Old Testament, Joshua 2145. Now, how much is the promise in John 663, the New Testament, where Jesus said, Hey, children, my words are spirit and life. The flesh profits nothing. Because if you don't take this spiritually in faith, the flesh will be zero. The net result is nothing. Because the words I speak are spirit, they must be accepted, received, and believed in the spirit. And then God's words brings... Number one, healing. Number two, deliverance. Number three, his entire redemptive plan in action. And finally, we want, before we go into the last verse, we see Romans chapter 10, verse 17. There's a lot of scripture we are releasing because that's power. Romans chapter 10, verse 17 says, Romans chapter 10, just one second. Let me just... Romans chapter 10 verse 17 says, Now faith comes by hearing and hearing the word of word of God. Yes, the, God. the word of God says, hearing the word of Christ. Now there's a difference between word of God and word of Christ. Word of God is the written word of God. But word of Christ is when we proclaim and make alive the word of God. So, if we read the word of God, faith will not come. But if we proclaim the word of God, which Jesus wants each and every one of us to say, then faith will come. Supernatural faith will come. And that's why we believe that we are receiving this, all the promises which are yes in Christ. Amen. Amen. And now, as we receive this, each and every one will be amazed at what is going to happen to their lives, to everyone who are praying for. Thank you, Jesus. Let us pray. Thank you, Lord. Yes. Our final mystery. Eternal Father. Eternal. Father, I offer you the body and blood, the body and blood the soul, soul and divinity of the beloved Son. Allow um, Jesus Lord Christ an atonement for our sins and the world. sins of the whole world. And those of the whole world. For the sake, for the sake of Jesus' sorrowful passion, Abba, Abba, Father, Father, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of Jesus' sorrowful passion, Abba, Father, Abba, Father, Abba, Father, Abba, Father have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of Jesus' sorrowful passion, Abba, Abba, Father, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of Jesus' sorrowful passion. Abba Father, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of Jesus' sorrowful passion. Abba Father, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of Jesus' sorrowful passion. Abba Father, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of Jesus' sorrowful passion. Abba Father, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of Jesus' sorrowful passion. Abba Father, Abba Father have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of Jesus' sorrowful passion. Abba Father, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of Jesus' sorrowful passion. Abba Father, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, Holy God, Holy Mighty One, 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 Holy
Holy God, the Holy Mighty One, Holy Mortal, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Mortal, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Let us pray the final prayer. Eternal God, in whom mercy is endless, and the treasury of compassion and exhaustion inexhaustible. Look, Look kindly upon us, upon us and, us and us increase your and mercy in us, that in difficult moments we might not this way, not this not this despondent, nor become with great confidence, with great confidence, submit ourselves to your most holy will, which is love and mercy itself. Amen. Amen. And now uh, we will go into our you are the Lord of our world and nothing can